iOS 16 and iPad OS 16 are here with great new features like revamp lock screen for iOS 16 and new stage manager for iPad OS 16. I know you're excited to try out these new features on the new softwares on your devices. But don't just directly install the software on your devices as there are some things that are to be kept in mind. So watch this video to know about such things. So firstly, before we update our devices, we need to check if our device supports these new softwares or not. And you can do that by checking the description where I have mentioned all the devices that supports iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. Now let's talk about three things that are to be kept in mind before you update your iPhone to the latest iOS and iPad to the latest iPadOS. Firstly, it is very, very important to take a backup of your data. This ensures that if something goes wrong, you have option to restore. This is coming from the guy whose iPhone was stuck on Apple logo this morning and had to be resetted and restored in order to function again. So yeah, backup really really helps. Besides this, you should also make sure that you have a stable Wi-Fi connection so that your device is able to process the whole procedure in a much smoother way. And please make sure that your device has at least 50% of battery or is plugged into charge. You see, storage is yet another important thing that is to be kept in mind before you update your device to any software. Your device downloads the package file that the company delivers and this processing includes unzipping of files that might take up to 7 or 8 GB of storage. Long story short, just make sure your device has enough storage that can process the whole package file. These steps might look a little ignorant to you but trust me, these are the main reasons why a lot of people face update issues on their devices. And boom, now you're ready to update your device to the latest iOS 16 or iPadOS 16. You can do that by going into settings, then tap on general, tap on software update and tap on download and install. After this, let your device sit for a while and let it process few things. If you want, you can use your Mac in order to update your device. And depending on your device and the internet speed, it may take a considerable time to download the file and install it. Please do not disconnect your device midway. It can be horrible for your device. So that's it for this one. Do let me know what are your thoughts about iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. Me, I'm personally very much excited to try out the stable version of iOS 16. I've been using the beta for a while now. But yeah, let's see how things go with the stable version. If you like what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button and the bell icon as well. And make sure to download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store if you like to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.